It's time once again for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. Hello, everybody. It's Uncle Matt, and I'm here to read you another bedtime story. And we're going to read a story, and I want you to use your imagination. It's not really your imagination. I want you to remember the past. Let's say the last couple years, when COVID first hit, when the coronavirus first became, I don't want to say popular, when it became evident, when we realized that corona was with us, how did you feel? Remember when different people in the government told you to stay at home, you're safe, isolate, and all that? Things are a lot better now. But I want to read a story, that, and I want you to, again, put yourself back in time and remember. Remember what you were doing, what, what you had to do to stay safe. And I came across a story, um, and it reminded me of these things. Because life is kind of normal right now. Right? Pretty much normal. Sometimes you have to wear a mask, maybe. Most of the time things are good, but just try to remember back then. We're going to read a story. It's called, And the People Stayed Home by Kitty O'Meara. And it's co-illustrated by two people. Illustrated by Stefano Di Cristofero and Paul Pareda. And just take a look at this cover before I read any more. Can you see the, some of the things that the people in, I guess, this apartment building were doing in this condo complex? From a balcony to a window, they were maybe hanging a plant. We saw a lady here talking with birds. And I remember those videos of people playing instruments on balconies and playing to the public down below and or maybe to another neighbor in the next building do you guys remember those videos here this these neighbors are playing a ball they're playing ball well let's get into the story um and the people stayed home i want you to enjoy the story i hope you will but i want you to check out if you can um the website and the people stayed home book.com and it has an interview and all that kind of stuff with the author, as well as some other kinds of great things in it that uh, supplement this book. So let's get into it. Sorry, a little bit of a blurb, just excited about this book. And the people stayed home. And the people stayed home. And they listened and read books. And rested and exercised and made art and played games. And learned new ways of being. And were still. And they listened more deeply. Some meditated, some prayed, some danced, some met their shadows, and the people began to think 
differently. And the people healed. And in the absence of people living in ignorant, dangerous, and heartless ways, the earth began to heal. And when the danger passed, and the people joined together again, they grieved their losses. and made new choices. and dreamed new images. And created new ways to live and heal the earth fully as they had been healed. The end. Wow. Thank you, Kitty O'Meara. That was a great story, and it was actually a poem. And again, I encourage you to check out www.andthepeoplestayedhomebook.com, and you can see an interview and hear an interview from the author. And there's some other resources that you can look at as well that um, talk about this book, that supplement this book. Well, that is all the time we have for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. I hope you enjoyed that story, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.